Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, pulled one out of the cellaring fridge. Y'all have seen the last uh, week or so in the fridge up here. This is Stone's Vertical uh, Epic. Uh, this is the 08 edition, which was done for their 20th anniversary, and they have bottled on date of 9-1 of 2015. Uh, this is an 8.9% alcohol by volume. I have three different versions that I have purchased uh, and stuck in the cellaring fridge. Uh, we have an 11 and a 12, I think, left. And guys, I'm not going to do verticals of two of these big beers side by side. I don't, I'm not doing that anymore. My health will not allow me to do that. So instead of doing them side by side, we will do them back to back. We'll try to do the 11 tomorrow and the 12 the next day. Uh, so I'm not going to do these monster beers. Uh, and 8.9% is not monster, but still, I don't want to drink two of these at the same time. So we'll do them as close as I can do them back to back and see what we end up with and see if one tastes better. Uh, I think there are different ABVs for different batches. So this one is 8.9%. So, and I've had it since 2015. So we'll see how well it is cellar. Not quite four years old, three and a half or a little bit longer uh, in the bottle. So, uh, this is considered a Belgian IPA, uh, according to uh, what Ray Beer is telling me. Uh, Untapped has it at uh, 45 IBUs. And their commercial description says the Stone 080808 Vertical Epic Ale is a strong Belgian style IPA, highly hopped with American hops, Antahem, Antonym, Amarillo, and Simcoe. Amarillo, I've not done anything with Anton, Antonym, uh, but I have brewed with Amarillo and Simcoe. Very tasty hops, both of those. Uh, the beer pours pale golden with thick and creamy white head of foam. The aroma is full of depth, nuances of pepper, clove, banana from the Belgian yeast strain and the resiny citrusy notes from the American hops blend together nicely to provide a complex or aromatic character. The taste is spicy, hoppy, and fruity with a very dry and pleasant bitter end. The bitterness lingers nicely and provides a refreshing finish. So we're going to see how well this has cellared in the bottle. So that is all we need to look at. We've got the ABV, we got the IBUs, and we got the bottle on day guys, 2015, uh, September uh, 2015. So let's see what it brings to the table. So let's get on with it here. A big 22 ounce bomber. Enough to share, which I probably will end up doing. Because I'm not going to drink a whole 22 ounce bomber guys. And I would say it's probably got some sediment in the bottom of it being setting this, this long in the bread. So, yes, I can see it swirling around on the bottom there. So, mm -hmm. definitely going to get some settling on the beer when you cellar these styles of beer this long. And it's some IPA, so maybe probably it would be my fault for cellaring a, a Belgian style IPA this long because the hop notes are probably not going to be there. Uh, as prominent as they would have been in 2015 when this was bottled. So, but it is a big beer at 8.9%. So, very nice looking beer, a uh, nice amber color. A lot of bubbles trimming up. It's very clear beer, not cloudy. To the nose we go. A little bit of citrusy notes there. 
nice maltiness to the beer. Doesn't seem to be over malty on the aroma. And I am getting the Belgian yeast qualities, so uh, smells pretty good. And like I said, uh, probably should have done a review earlier than what I have now. Uh, being an IPA, I usually don't sell her my IPAs, but this vertical epic, uh, I thought it was like a Belgian double or a Belgian triple. I didn't realize it was an IPA until I got it out and started to review today. So probably should have done it a lot earlier than this. So that is my fault. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Very pleasant. I'm sure the hop aroma and flavor it was probably a whole lot more potent, fresh than it, than it is right now. So another reason why we're going to go ahead and get all three of these done back to back to get them out of the fridge. Um, I thought they were doubles or triples, uh, but they're not. So we're going to get them get them reviewed and get them out of the way, guys. So and I'm going to tell you. If I think one's better than the other, probably the 11 is going to have a little more hop aroma than this one, and then the 12 is probably going to have a little more than the, than the 11 or this one. So, uh, still very tasty, but like I said, it's probably my fault, and I take that blame for not reviewing it earlier. So, and I, and I bought these beers, all three of them, so uh, they weren't sent to me. I, uh, I wasn't aware they were IPAs. I thought they were. Doubles or triples. Still very pleasant. I think it has sellered very well. Uh, it's not super malty. And I do have some citrusy notes going on with it. But I am sure they would have been a whole lot more prominent, especially with Simcoe Amarilla and, and Antonym Hops, which I'm not familiar with. Uh, fresh than they are now so uh, if you happen to have a, an 080808 uh, it's still good it has sellered decently uh, for a Belgian style IPA so uh, and the Belgian yeast notes are there I'm getting those Belgian yeast notes on the taste I'm just uh, I'm just afraid that the the hop presence is uh, uh, probably very diminished uh, being almost four years in the bottle, so uh, and, and like like uh, Dogfish is 120, uh, which is a lot bigger beer than this, twice the beer this is as far as alcohol. They want you to cellar it for a while. They don't want you to drink that fresh. So uh, not a fan of that beer, by the way. It's a pricey beer, and it doesn't do much for this guy. Uh, New England style beers have ruined my palate. Because uh, I'm a hop head, guys. I like that big hoppy, off the chain hop aroma and taste, which those beers have. So they basically blowed the West Coast style out of the water, which used to be my top of the line beers. Uh, so, but anyway, I digress. Uh, very tasty beer. I think it has sellered well, other than the hop presence, probably not as big as it probably could have been or should have been drink fresh. So, let me sip on this uh, and pour her a glass and we'll come back and give it a great. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been on a while. Nice place thing is left on the glass. And once again, I'm going to reiterate, probably would have been a, a tastier beer fresh than what I am drinking now being almost four years, three and a half years in the bottle. And another reason why we're going to get to the 11-11-11 uh, and the 12-12-12 edition uh, back to back uh, to get these beers uh, reviewed uh, since they are IPAs instead of Belgian doubles or triples. Uh, very tasty. I am getting the Belgian yeast notes. Uh, very nice. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of citrusy notes but not a lot other hop aromas or flavors uh, to go along with that. So pretty much very, you know, I'm a kind of guy that, that likes the IPAs three months or a year or less. Uh, so uh, it's my fault that I've waited this long to, to drink this and I take the responsibility uh, for that. 
I would think this would probably have been a little tastier beer fresh than it is now. So with that being said, I'm grading off on for what I have in front of me and I hate to be that way, but I am, it is a big beer. It's almost a nine percenter at 8.9%. Uh, but like I said, if you think this is the best beer you've ever tasted, I would not argue with that, guys. Uh, so with that being said, we're gonna do the final chug on this one. Still a very pleasant beer. Her, the back end pour out of the bottle with the sediment in there was considerably more hazier than what I have in my glass. So, very pleasant Belgian aroma. But not a whole lot of hot presence at this stage of the game. So, final choke. As far as I was heard, it did sell very well, but the hot of rum and taste probably has diminished, diminished a little bit so it is what it is but it did sell it well I like this beer better than I do a Dogfish 120 anyway whether it's fresh five years ten years down the road but it's not an 18 percent beer guys so uh, enjoyed it and enjoyed it uh, I don't think it's an A beer guys so uh, B plus for me 88 that's where I'm gonna put this beer uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 87, also in their B plus range. And over to Untap for the final check in, they have it at 3.87, again, also their B plus range. So it's unanimous basically. It's a B plus beer. It's a tasty beer though, guys. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, a very tasty final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Uh, very nice. Uh, it's got everything that you want in a Belgian style ale other than the hot presence being as old as it is. So uh, I didn't do one fresh. Uh, I have done this beer before. I didn't go back and look and see which one I had done before. Uh, so uh, it made me have a whole lot more hot presence if I had done this at the end of 2015 after it was bottled uh, than I'm giving now. So. Uh, and plus, in 2015, uh, I've had a few more beers under the, the belt, and I don't know if I'd had a uh, New England style beer at that time, but it's not claiming to be a New England style beer. So I enjoyed it. It is a tasty beer. It is, and to me, personally, it sounded very well, and I would buy this beer again. Uh, even though it's not an A beer to me, it just saved, but it's, it's still very tasty. So, if you've had the 080808, their 20th anniversary edition recently, let me know what you think. And if you've got one seller, you might want to drink it. <laughs> you might want to get it out and drink it, guys. So, with that being said, till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.